So um, Alert Central, have you guys seen us talking about this yet? This went out of beta yesterday. Um, this, the basic concept here is how many times you have different systems that they don't talk to each other, they each have a different API, and what they do spit out is an awful lot of email alerts. So the idea here is that it's not just network administrators, it's anybody in IT who has to deal with a giant inbox of alerts that go somewhere to die and nobody takes action on them because for every one that's important, 99 of them are noise. And um, basically it's a way of being able to digest those things, normalize them in a way, and then manage them through automated uh, alerting, uh, action tracking on them, and escalation. Um, it, it installs as a virtual appliance. More than half of our products now installs virtual appliances uh, for both Hyper-V and um, uh, vSphere, and it's really, really easy to use. It, I'll show you the interface it, right it, quick. And this is distinct from the alert manager that's built into the product. Yes, yes. Yeah. It integrates with Orion if you want it to, but that is not its primary, that's just one data source for it. Um, Did you mention that it was free? Yes, it's completely free. It's completely free. So that's not a small tool, that's a fully functional product you can use in production, and that's completely free. That's one of these problems that we realize everybody has this problem, right? So it's a brand awareness, obviously, we're not just doing free stuff or pleasure doing free stuff, that's for brand awareness. But you say, well, let's pick a problem that everybody has on an everyday basis, and let's deliver a free product that is fully functional and actually does something. So I have a quick question around free. Is it free like a lot of the products that are no, no, no. get the get the crack, yes. realize that you no. need the crack, and then you no, buy that it? That's a fantastic <laughs> question. No, that's a great. I'm happy about this question. And I actually, actually, no, I actually had a slide answering that question, but I'll just tell you because you've already netted it out. Um, I think I mentioned it before. This is a free product. So you hear us talking about free tools, and there's more than 30 free tools now. Yeah. We continue to add to them, and the tools are great. It's a chance to get your get your your toe wet, or maybe you're a small shop, and, or you want to learn about a technology. It's a way to kind of start with that. This is not free crack. This is act, this this is free crack. It's an unlimited <laughs> supply of free crack. <laughs> it's, it's not just we get you on the comeback. This is the real deal, and you can run it. Uh, there's no you don't have to you know get a license from us. You download it, install it. There is not even email. We don't even collect the email when you download it, do we? Um, I can't remember. I don't think it's the regular oh, I download. Bet you do. You do. Well, what, you, uh, do we do we send email? <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes. Uh, yeah, so maybe you can create some alerts to manage the emails from us as well. But um, <laughs> but uh, what's great about this is that you know alerts are, are alerts are that kind of weird thing between help desk tickets and the I need to take the first action, right? The first responder, what am I going to do at this moment? So it's basically taking that approach to be able to pull these things in and then get them uh, normalized enough that a, a number of people can work on it all at the same time. And this supports. Um, you know, tens of thousands of alerts per day, a couple hundred users. It's web-based. This is HTML5, to answer that question. And um, if you were looking at uh, the status here, it tells you whether it's uh, on fire and somebody sent a notification or not, automated escalation. If you go in and actually look at the ticket, um, it'll give you the history on it. It'll tell you when it was created, assignments, automated escalations, uh, notes that have been added by the team that's working on it. It has a mobile uh, uh, interface through mobile through email. You can actually acknowledge the acknowledge and update them through a standard uh, email template so that it'll automatically pick up the changes. Um, it also does some really cool things too, like it's got a calendar and if you're used to using um, Outlook calendar, it's pretty much the same thing. So the main thing is who's, who's, on my, who's offering uh, coverage right now on different types of alerts. You literally drag and drop them onto the calendar and it'll create a a new uh, coverage for that. You can go see who's on call today. So here I can see I've got wow, car, you know he's on two different teams. He's providing coverage for both the help desk and the maintenance team. Um, I've got a, someone from the network admin team on, but um, my uh, software admin group. I don't have any coverage, but I am going to have it at 10:30 tonight. But that suggestion that maybe I want to get someone on there. So that answer of who's got the pager or who's should be on call, you can actually answer that question as a manager, or as the person who's the user, you can figure out whether you're on, you're responsible for uh, issues or not. Groups are really easy to manage, and then just uh, one other thing I wanted to show you right quick, obviously configuring these alert sources could potentially be kind of a hairy thing, so we've made that a little bit easier by providing a wizard for that, because we assume that a lot of the users who are gonna have this may not be network gurus, they may be kind of general I, um, IT folks, so it'll actually walk them through the process. So they define the rules that are gonna match for that alert. And uh, summary of the objects that it's gonna create, they'll create their escalations and what they end up with, like in this case is the routing. You can actually see all of the things that are gonna happen in how those alerts are gonna get routed. 
and kind of like an exchange rule. There's a standardized way of creating them over here, so we kind of hold your hand a little bit and make sure you don't, you don't have to write scripts to do it. But then you get a human readable version of that uh, alert um, logic on the side, so it's pretty easy to take uh, care of. That's a pretty good UI. Yeah. I've, had to do that, I've had to do that on, on the, uh, the open source side, and it's a giant pain. But you, our, our UX team, I mean, that's one of those things that, that just in the last, last 18 months, the team has gotten really amazing in products like this. Um, definitely are benefiting it from it. And it's the same team that's involved in really all of our, our product line, and they come in and do some healing on, even these have been around for a while. Um, so any questions on Alert Central? I know I kind of rushed through that. All right, so another one that's kind of cool, how many of you are familiar with Land Surveyor? <coughs> All right, land surveyor, pretty good, maybe a little long tooth, could be a little bit better. Introducing network topology mapper. Network topology mapper um, is, we looked at it and we said, there's great functionality in this product. It will really be painful to, to uh, take it to the next level, so we basically have started it over. Um, with network topology mapper, um, a lot of the things that people ask for was different, you know, sort of like different um, layer displays to be able to break uh, data down in terms of how it's displayed, being able to change the layout of maps, and of course nobody ever likes the layout of any particular map. Um, let's get that. So, oh, that's a fantastic one. You like that over here in the thing? <laughs> it's like, hey, I know I've got stuff out here somewhere. Um, but, um, where's that one? Let's see, what did I have when I So already off the bat, cool. Sorry, My question yeah. is, how's it licensed with you guys? Because that's one of the things that's kind of hard to understand sometimes when you start looking at the product. Is this a standalone? Is this part of NPM licensing? What is this? It's, it's separate. <laughs> it's separate, but uh, it does answer the question, what's the easiest way to build our, uh, charts in Orion? This is it. Okay. So it's discovery, and the things that it can actually discover are way more comprehensive. And like in this case, you can actually see both sides of a connection. That's not a very good example of why. Uh, you can see both sides of the connection, how they're connected, the speed details. You can actually, it color codes the connections, and you can decide how you want to break those up. And it also has custom properties as well. So for example, if I wanted to change my view and only show a set of elements and sort based on, in this case, business unit, I can do that. And um, I, I, I'm sorry we didn't have more time, so but that's... better than Network Atlas, different? How does it... Different. 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 So yeah. Network Atlas, you can do discovery from, from inside of Orion, certainly to find devices. But in terms of, and it does topology now, this, but it's not creating a visio like diagram. This will export Visio and anything else as well. This is, hey, I'm gonna just go out and do the discovery, pull it in, and actually show all the connections as a, as a map that are active. You can do that. Yeah. Where with Land Surveyor, that was sort of a two-step two step process. So our response to, to the map product. question before was, that's the technical basis we're gonna start from. We're not at the VLAN, we're not at the V switch level yet, but that's the technology we're gonna, it's a 1.0, it's pretty damn good for a 1.0, and that's what we're gonna build on to basically address the point that you made, which is a very good point. All right.